So Hayden's just going to lay this little girl down and he'll tell you a little bit about her. Thanks, Jim. What we got here is a merino ewe. A ewe meaning that it is a female sheep, and merino is its breed. Merinos are bred for their wool, and Australia still produces the best quality wool in the world. And at the moment, this one's got about 12 months growth on it. The sheep are generally shorn just once a year. It's about that long, so she'll feel a lot better when that comes off. So what I'll do now is I'll spin around and get started, and Jim can talk you through it, because he's good like that. Thank you, Hayden. Alrighty. So what Hayden will do, you can shift this sheep around a little bit, get uh, sitting upright, tucks the sheep's front leg in behind his leg, pulls down on the cord, that starts the handpiece, away we go. So he'll work his way down the front there. So Hayden be, is using uh, his mechanised shearing, that you see here now has been fairly similar to that for some time. Um, some of the older mechanised shearing stuff would have been run off diesel motors and stuff. Before that there was blade shearing, so you might have heard of Jackie Howe and famous songs and various other things. So a lot of the real old time ones use blades like that. So nowadays you will see a setup pretty much like this. So Hayden's taking the belly wool off. So we take the belly wool off and uh, we separate it when it comes off. It's of inferior quality to the rest of the fleece wool. So it's often a little bit shorter, tighter and buried. So we uh, bin it separately. We still use it, sell it like everything that comes off. Even these little bits under the table. Nothing is wasted. So as we go along, Hayden will be working his way along, constantly moving, changing position, following a very systematic approach to, to each sheep. It's very important how you position yourself and how you position the sheep. You also got to keep the sheep comfortable. Unlike the shearer, this sheep isn't sedated. So they're not, they're not trained or anything like that. They just sheep out of the paddock. So it's up to the shearer to manage each sheep he shears, keep them comfortable and keep them in the correct position. So he's under what's called the long blow now. So that's the longest blow. In shearing terms, a blow is a shear or a stroke. Over the top of the head, down the front of the neck. Now, different sheep shear differently. In, some are harder, some are easier. Um, depends on the quality. Sometimes depends on the weather conditions that they've been through as to how they shear. Um, and obviously, the more experienced in the shearer, the more sheep they shear in a day. So a standard day in a shearing shed is four blocks of two hours, so an eight hour day. And a shearer like Hayden in sheep probably something like this would shear about 50 a run, so or 200 a day. So shearing sheds can be very busy places. And the shearer is paid per sheep, not per hour. And the current rate to shear a sheep is $3.10. So there you go. There's a $3.10 haircut, everybody. Let's hear it for Hayden. Okay, thanks, Jim. Why don't you show him your $3 haircut while you're at it? That is a beauty. Anyway, as a rouse about now, it's Jim's turn to do a bit of work. He must pick the fleece up and try to throw it on the table in a nice, flat, even piece. See if he can do it. Wow, wow, Jim. You have to beg for that. Righto. He sweeps the floor and presents the shearer with a clean work area. Then he goes back and skirts the fleece. Now, skirting involves going around the edges and removing any inferior bits of wool. Anything that's a bit dirty or discoloured or shorter or buried, it's got to come off. We want to be left with a clean, even fleece. So I'll give Jim a hand because he's had a hard night again.
Righto, the fleece is rolled up and presented to the wool classer. Have a look at the style, the colour of the fleece, the length. He'll check the strength of it. And then he'll place that fleece into a, into a line, into a wool bin with all other fleeces of equal quality. That's a wool classer's job, just create lines of wool. So by, by then uh, the wool bins, when they're full, the wool press's job to take it and press it into a wool press. In a wool press, they, they're hydraulic nowadays. And they come out in probably 200 kilo wool bales, like the one around the corner there, near the wool press there. And at the end of shearing, they're all taken on a truck to market where it is sold by auction and then taken overseas to be processed. Now the first step in processing wool is scouring, where they wash the wool to remove any dirt and grease. Now the grease that comes out of the wool is called lanolin, and that is used in a lot of skincare products and makeups. It's very good for your skin. So after it's been washed, it's spun, woven, and turned into a fabric, and our top-end wool might come back as an Italian suit, or something like this little number here. It's just, this a bit of merino wool fabric there. Light, soft weight, comfortable. The great thing about wool, it's a great insulator. You can wear it in winter, keep it cool in summer, and warm in winter. Because all these tiny little fibres are hollow. They're hollow fibres, so no synthetic or man-made material can replicate that so it's lightweight it breathes and it draws the sweat away from your body and keeps you cool in summer all right all this on the table everything we've taken off it's all still used but probably used in lesser garments maybe like your blankets and socks and things like that oh that pretty much sums our industry up we got any questions